Yes, now we can hear now you, yes. Good. Okay, now uh, it's a great opportunity to be with you today, me and my uh, colleague, Dr. Anada Domiotti. And I appreciate uh, the working team, uh, Gary and the Anesthesia team. Thanks, everyone. Um, <clears throat> our case today, uh, Nada, could you introduce the case, please? Thank you, Dr. Amr. It's my pleasure to be with you, my professor. And today we have a female patient, 29 years old, and she came complaining of um, persistent abdominal pain and dysphagia. The upper endoscopy uh, was normal for her, and now we are doing EOS. Directly, the there, there, there is a suspected subcardiac uh, um, lesion cystic, and we're trying to dis discriminate the type of the lesion. Is it a pseudocyst or, or is it a duplicate cyst or something else? Now, this is now the uh, we could see here the pancreatic the CBD is here, and the pancreatic duct is crossing toward the word the 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 the, the head of the of the uh, uh, pancreas and if I remove the Doppler and I move with the body of the pancreas now here we could see um, the, the pancreatic body which is with no features of chronic pancreatitis and now the kidney is coming into the field at six o'clock as you see here there is um, this is the kidney and this is the pancreatic body and this is the splenic vessels, artery and vein and I'm trying to pull back to reach to the cardia until we see the cyst. Now the cyst appears into the field at the upper uh, uh, right quadrant. Could be there is a thick wall, I mean with a double lumen. It's uh, if I magnify a little bit, two important things here I want to demonstrate. First thing that the kidney is away from the cyst. There is a line of cleavage between them. And if I go back a little bit, as you see here, this is the spleen and this is the splenic hilum, which is close to the tail of the pancreas and they are away from the cyst. So if you go up a little bit more, this is the cyst now. This is anechoic structure with a thick wall. I'm trying to magnify with each other to illustrate the feature of this. Is. This is anechoic with a little bit uh, hypoechoic structure. Uh, there is two parts of the cyst. It could be seen like communicated at this uh, view, but they are communicated from here. It's septated here and communicated from up. And down here, you could see with me, Nada, this is the, uh, the uh, suprarenal gland, the left suprarenal gland, and this is the kidney. This is the seagull appearance of the left suprarenal gland. So as you see here, regarding the gastric wall, this is the mucosa, submucosa, and what, what's dark here is the muscularis uh, 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 propria, okay. and what's white here is the wall of the cyst. So I would say this could be um, a duplicate cyst close to the subcardiac uh, arising uh, outside the gastric wall and reaching up to the cardia, I mean uh, extending, maybe this is an extra luminal compression, uh, making compression and symptoms for the patient. One of the important thing here, we could display the Doppler. You, you could comment another for, for the Doppler. Do you see any th signals? No signals is here, so no vessels around. We couldn't see any vessels no, inside. And uh, to my mind, it could be um, a duplicate cyst, cyst, but it's not arising from the uh, uh, gastric wall, I mean intraluminal site, which will be, uh, could be a candidate for endoscopic interventions. So, so here, Dr. Amr, I'm, I'm, we were just discussing about the management for the next step for this patient, if the persistent pain, uh, should, it could be explained with this cyst. <clears throat> Uh, one of the important things is here, we need to know what is the type of the cyst. Is it a renal cyst? I would say no. no. Is it a pseudopancreatic cyst? It's close to the pancreatic tail, but they are away. There is no features of pancreatitis. No. The pancreatic duct is not dilated. And it could be typical criteria of uh, a, a duplicate cyst. cyst okay. So I would do um, FNA with 19 gauge needle to make an aspirate from the cyst. As yeah. you know, the content of the fluid yes. of the cyst could be mucinous, mucinous as you yes. know. 
So if we have the endoscopic features of duplicate cysts and we have a new scene, uh, this will fit more uh, duplicate cysts. And if the patient's symptomatic, then we need to remove this. Okay, perfect. So for the, for, for, uh, if you will take a, if, if, if in a, so there is a risk of uh, infection. Infection. And if a patient is asymptomatic. I, I could go a little bit higher to examine this. Okay. We, I, so there was I, I a concern. Uh, yes, yes. There, there, there was yes. a concern about uh, if you think this is duplicate cyst and, uh, and the patient is asymptomatic, you might uh, uh, expose patient to the infection. Exactly. Is she really uh, asymptomatic? That That's number pain. one. Number two question, can you delineate the tail of the pancreas, the body tail pancreas? We saw clearly it's not a kidney. We saw it's away from the adrenal, we saw it's away from spleen, but can we see the uh, body tail? We see the wall of the stomach, it's really uh, uh, clear. Okay, so regarding the first question, I totally agree with your opinion. If the patient is asymptomatic and this is a duplicate cyst, then we do nothing because it's a benign uh, cyst with no uh, any further complication. But if the patient is asymptomatic, then we need to uh, uh, remove the cyst or drain the cyst, like de-roofing de uh, yes. endoscopically, the, the and we could do this um, um, uh, endoscopically. And if it is extra luminal, then we have to search for uh, another uh, alternative. Regarding the second point, if I, you, this is the spleen. You could see the spleen now. He will answer this. And this is the splenic hilum. Is it clear? Clear. You see now the splenic vessels, and this is close to the uh, pancreatic tail. Uh, this this position is a little bit slippery because the cyst is pushing me, and the scope is not stable. So I will try to uh, check the pancreatic tail. Now we are close to the pancreatic tail, and you could see here uh, the cyst and its relation. When I push it, disappear and go back, it appears in my field. Do you think it's related to the pancreatic body or it's outside? What's your opinion? Yeah, I see it looks like it's, I think it's outside and I agree yes. with the duplication cyst. We can see the, the two layers, I think, in one of the Perfect. views. Yeah, like the upper border is like two layers uh, of the cyst. So it seems to be an, a, a, a gastric duplication cyst uh, from the external of the stomach. So thank you very much. Uh, um, I think we'll thank just you. go. We have um, a, I think yeah, that was a great case. We will go thank for um, a couple of uh, minutes we do have um, uh, a polyp i think assessment um, so just uh, they are keen to uh, show us